All right, music fans, welcome back. Harmless Dave here again, talking real music in real time for real people just like you and just like me. Well, Ozzy Osbourne, otherwise known as the Prince of Darkness, has dropped a brand new song called Patient Number Nine. And uh, supposedly the song is somewhat autobiographical. Um, the lyrics are again, uh, a little bit psychotic, uh, but that is Ozzy. That's his trademark. Uh, the song features the amazing guitar work of the one and only Jeff Beck, who, again, on my list, short list of great guitar players, uh, Jeff Beck isn't the most commercial guitarist on the planet, but he can do anything. He can play it straight. He can get jazzy he can get psychedelic he can get just absolutely crazy and he does pretty much everything that he can do to make this song really really interesting i would say some very exuberant guitar work for sure on this new ozzy osbourne single i think it clocks in at uh, seven minutes and change uh, something like this should probably get over to mainstream rock stations, I would be surprised if they didn't play this one. For whatever reason, Ozzy has the cachet even today uh, to be on those lame mainstream rock stations. So they're going to get to hear some Jeff Beck over there, <laughs> which I guess is some really good news. Um, the song itself, like I say, is pretty interesting. One thing I noticed about the way Ozzy is singing these days, right? Um, he's getting a little bit more nasal. It's all kind of coming from a certain place. Um, when vocalists age, two things can happen. One of two things, or maybe their voice can stay the same, which is unusual, but yes, it can happen. Um, a lot of times, uh, your vocals get deeper, um, and, uh, you're, you know, you, you get lower where you can't sing higher notes. Uh, in this case, Ozzy is losing a lot of that bottom end, so his voice is getting a bit thin, and it reminds me a lot of Phil Collins. <laughs> he's he's sounding more like Phil Collins. Now, back in the day, right, Phil Collins was always trying to kind of sound like Ozzy here and there. I'm thinking of the song by uh, Genesis called Mama, which I thought you know, maybe Ozzy co-wrote the song because it was so Ozzy-like. Uh, and then, you know, things like I Don't Care Anymore and um, definitely In the Air Tonight too, but uh, more so on Mama. But again, Phil had a different voice. It was, again, his the vocal timber was in a different place and Ozzy was still kind of full-throated, but now Ozzy is actually starting to sound more like Phil. Now, I don't think it's a bad thing. I'm just remarking when I heard the first couple of verses, I'm going, huh, this almost sounds like Phil Collins. <laughs> and just, and again, it, it's, it's not a problem. If you grew up listening to this music, you're thinking to yourself, well, Dave, that's not really a bad thing. Cause I like Phil, I like Ozzy and everything's cool, man. And uh, you got to admit that I'm pretty sure that uh, Phil appreciates Ozzy and vice versa, but the song itself not bad. Uh, you know, it's not the most hooky or melodic song. It's not designed to be that way. This is a relentless, psychedelic mood swing guitar workout with all kinds of sound effects and voices and the beginning of the song. I mean, this is what you want to do on Halloween. You want to probably get patient number nine and have that playing as the soundtrack when the kids come up to try to get the candy because you'll have, you know, a full uh, pumpkin or whatever you keep it in. You'll have a, a giant bowl of candy at the end of the night because the kids will go running into the darkness, right? Because it is kind of a creepy song and you can add it to your Halloween playlist. Patient number nine, brand new from Ozzy Osbourne. By the way, a lot of special guests on this record. Um, if you haven't heard, I mean, it's a pretty interesting list. He's got Eric Clapton, Zach Wilde, Chad Smith, uh, Duff McKagan, um, Tony Iommi. 
uh, and the late Taylor Hawkins is on this record. Um, I guess Ozzy tried to convince Jimmy Page to play in a song, but uh, Jimmy said no. Interesting. You got you had Jeff Beck and Eric Clapton say yes, and you have uh, Jimmy Page saying no. That to me doesn't make a whole lot of sense. Uh, by the way, this is uh, Ozzy's 13th album. So <laughs> what could go wrong at number 13, right? Um, look, Ozzy has been through a lot. He just had surgery. Uh, the surgery is supposed to fix some stuff that could really help him going forward. Otherwise, he was going to be in a lot of pain. Uh, Ozzy has Parkinson's disease, and he's been through a lot of other health issues. So he could be patient number nine, or he could be, you know, patient number 13 or patient number 99. I mean, he's been through a lot, and obviously we wish him well. I'm thinking this album is going to do great. And from what I understand, this might be the last Ozzy album. I don't know if I read somewhere that this is the last one, but uh, we'll see what happens. Maybe he will be out on tour if things go well. If not, we've got some great music and some great guest musicians on what is sure to be a big selling Ozzy Osbourne record. Patient number nine. The song is out there. Check it out. Again, Ozzy sounding a little like Phil Collins, I think, but you might have a different take on it. Uh, my takes tend to be kind of bizarre, and I know that. So um, just go with me here. By the way, if you want to uh, subscribe to the channel, I appreciate that. Also, don't forget to um, check out Patreon. Uh, dollar a month over on Patreon if you'd like to sign up, if you want to do two bucks a month. I appreciate people just subscribing and watching the videos. And again, until next time. I will see you then.